I am cancelling my Fujifilm X106 pre-order and I want to share with you my tips on how to invest in Fujifilm cameras and why I'm cancelling the pre-order. Let's talk about this now. Hi there, Tudor Matescu here. In this video, I want to address why I'm cancelling my Fujifilm X106 pre-order and how to invest in Fujifilm gear and in Fujifilm X106 because sooner or later I will buy it. But before that, I must tell you my advices for my long time experience in using and buying Fujifilm gear, how to invest in Fujifilm and why you shouldn't rush to buy the first batch of Fujifilm X106 cameras. So if you are in content like this, please subscribe now, now, now to my channel. First of all, there are plenty of reports regarding Fujifilm X106 on the Facebook forums regarding build quality issues, all kinds of problems regarding the screen and also regarding the painting of the body, like paint peeling off and probably there are other problems. So this is my first tip. Don't buy the first batch of a Fujifilm camera and especially the first batch of a Fujifilm camera that it's released from a new factory in China because Fujifilm will adapt based on the reports of the users and they will improve the manufacture process because Fujifilm is known to have problems regarding the first batch of cameras. This was happening also on Fujifilm X100 fine peaks. The first batch and probably the first series of the cameras had sticking aperture blades problems. So you should look when you are buying an X100 fine peaks to find the affected series. So first batch. Next, Fujifilm X-T5 first users are also reporting EVF coating problems and screen tilting screen problems. Also, Fujifilm X Pro 3 first batch EVF problems. The EVF was burning inside the X Pro 3. So Fujifilm is known, is known for sure that in the first batches and in the first series that they will release, you have lots of chances to have a harder problem on your Fujifilm camera. So if you don't want to have this problem, avoid the first and the second batch. My advice is if you aren't in a hurry, I would wait at least one year to acquire my first Fujifilm camera, a brand new camera from a known and authorized seller. Talking about known sellers, don't buy from the gray market. Don't buy Fujifilm cameras from the gray market. You don't know how that camera arrived at that site that is selling at gray market price. I really don't understand why would you buy a camera from the gray market. Also, you will have problems with the guarantee. And uh, even if the gray market site is saying that you have a guarantee, I've read on the forums that the manufacturers are checking the serial numbers of the cameras in their database and you will not receive the guarantee because those products in general are rejected products, are products that didn't pass the quality controls and they are sold on the grave market. So why would you buy a product that didn't meet the quality controls of the manufacturers from the grave market? For sure you will have problems. I've did this with just one Fujifilm lens and I'm really not liking how that Fujifilm lens is resolving at pixel level the 35 meters f2. So I would avoid the grave market for sure especially regarding Fujifilm cameras. You really don't know what you buy there. Now regarding buying Fujifilm cameras from the used market, the same advices are applying. You must find out regarding the serial number of the camera, if that camera was a camera from the first batch. Next, discover if that camera was bought from the gray market. I would also avoid mpb.com because you don't know regarding the cameras that they are selling, how that camera was used and you don't know the serial number, you don't know if that camera is coming from the gray market and you don't have information regarding the shutter count of your camera. And also you don't know how that camera was used and abused by the owner. Also, I would avoid buying from the used market the XT series. Why I would do this? Because the XT series are 
very popular and also they are used by professional and being used by professional they will take a lot of beatings so they will be used in photography but also in videography and in wedding photography and you don't want a camera that was abused like this so this is why i would avoid the xt series from the used market but how i would buy used fujifilm gear so this is my next tip how to buy fujifilm used gear so regarding the x100 series i would check the serial number if the camera is from the first batch avoid it x100 fine peaks known for the problems x pro 3 known for the problems in the first batch and so on so avoid the first and the second batch of fujifilm cameras next buy from a trusted seller so buy from a person that you know that bought the camera brand new don't buy a camera that was used three four times before you because you have chances that that camera will not work well check how the shutter button is working check the shutter counts check the af check the evf and also the other tips are also available i'm always checking if the user that is selling the camera it's selling a camera bought from a trusted seller from an authorized seller and not from the gray market i don't want to buy a camera used from the gray market and not just fujifilm cameras so pay attention to these details because it matters a lot now the final tip is regarding the lenses how to buy fujifilm lenses and not have problems again avoid the gray market buy from a trusted seller where you have guarantee next if you want to buy a used lens buy from a seller where you can check the history of the lens is the lens from the gray market don't buy it is the lens with dust and with af problems don't buy it has the lens aperture ring problems don't buy it it's very simple i've bought the 35 mm f1.4 two times from the used market the aperture ring was loosely and it has dust but more than that the problem for me it was af the af was really bothering me the third time i've decided to buy this lens from a trusted seller brand new from my local shop and the lens it's extraordinary the af it's another story compared to the two used versions the aperture ring it's okay Again, it's not one of the greatest Fujifilm aperture rings, but it's not like on a used one. And I am really loving this lens and how it's acting. So this happened with me with this lens. And also on the internet, you will find lots of complaints regarding the 18mm F2 aperture ring. I think I have this lens for over two years now and I've used it and the aperture ring it's like brand new it's clicky 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 the AF it's okay and the lens it's extraordinary I didn't make the same mistake with the 18 mm f2 as with the 35 mm f1.4 I've decided from the start to buy it brand new of course I didn't love the price but I didn't have any problems so in general personally I'm buying my Fujifilm cameras brand new brand new or from a user that bought the camera brand new from a trusted seller i am avoiding the used market but regarding the voigtlander lenses that are new lenses i would buy the voigtlander lenses from the used market and from mpb because they are manual focusing lenses they are brand new lenses and you can't go wrong with them for the moment so this was bought on the used market so in conclusion regarding x106 my advice is wait wait don't rush in the first batch or in the second batch i would wait at least one year yes one year to buy x106 because the prices will drop for sure the users that bought the first batch will report the problems fujifilm will correct the hardware problems and in the next batches we will have better cameras and of course i would not buy an x106 from the used market and also i would not buy from a scalper because you need guarantee because there are known problems in the first batch with xt5 i feel that i've got lucky in the first batch but again don't expect to be lucky if you are buying fujifilm cameras from the first batch this is my experience of course you can be lucky but have in mind 
find that this is a known problem for many manufacturers because the first batches can always have harder problems and I'm not talking about softer problems. So have that in mind when you are buying your next Fujifilm camera and if you are liking content like this, please give me a like, share my video, leave me your comments, subscribe to my channel, check my newsletter and check my next video. This is helping the algorithm a lot. So please click the next video. Click, click, click here right now.